Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And we've had lots of comments and questions and people asking for us to explain the board. That's usually in the background of all of my videos when I'm caping down here. So today we're going to just show you what we did as far as helping us do kind of stand up but flat lay pictures for clothing. This piece of board here, it was what we had out in our shop. So that's why it's this. When you're going to be using this board, just make sure it's something that's not going to bow. Something, this one's kind of really heavy. It's three quarter inch plywood. Yeah, it's very heavy. And I have a really hard time getting to my stuff that's behind it, but that's okay. You might be able to get away with half inch, like OSB or something like that, but I have a genetic defect in that we don't build anything light in my family. And so it's going it's, to have to be sturdy and I, I thought a half inch might just bow. So I went with the three quarter inch because I had both. And we had both. First, we went with the three quarter inch because it's not going to bow. And it, it's, it's worked wonderfully for us. Um, as far as the base. Wait, let's go back. What? It is not a full length sheet of plywood. It's the full width, four, four feet wide, but it is not the full length. It's like five and a half feet. Yeah, it cuts two feet off, something like that. The base, we went to a yard sale and somebody had made a coffee table out of pallets. And I think she wanted, what, $10 for it? Right. So we went ahead and bought that. And then we just kind of cut the legs off because if it was just a piece of wood, you would be kind of leaning forward too much. So we wanted something on the base where you could actually get your feet under and be able to work right here without having to lean too forward. But the edge of the table was kind of sore on the shins. So I did find a pool noodle and I put that there. It works for us. Yeah, because if the... I'll move the... I want to move the camera now. All right. So if the... <laughs> knock down the lights. If the sheet of plywood how we initially started before we found the little coffee table thing went all the way to the floor it would come farther out like probably another five inches out or something mm -hmm. which would mean you would have to stand significantly farther away i mean and an, an inch wise because with this you can stand and put your feet under it and probably get a, a foot closer than you would if it was sticking out because of the angle of the plywood and the fact that you can actually get your feet under the table all right. And this is kind of the angle of it. I did the math one time. I got a protractor app on my phone and it was like 60 degrees or something. I, I can't remember. I'll, I'll have to do it. I'll have to look that up. But the little table has slats on it, which work perfectly. So it keeps the, the board, board from place. sliding. So if it was we wanted it up more. We could just push it back. Right, or put it on a different slat there. And this is kind of, I was trying to figure out something in my head to build, and this was kind of the idea, and we saw it at the uh, yard sale yard for sale. 10 bucks and thought, project done. Project done. So, I went, as you can tell, it's naked right now. Um, we miscut it the first time. And so we had the little seam across here that you can see in all the pictures of our clothes. So I went yesterday to Joanne Fabrics again, and I have finally figured out what it's called. Y'all, you know I say crazy things sometimes. I kept saying that it was a nautical cloth, but what it really is called was a uh, utility insulation cloth, white. Insulated. Insulated. It's seven ninety nine dollars a yard. Um, so I bought a couple of them. I did find out that it is washable also, and you can dry it which is going to make it last longer for us. Because when you're putting clothes up there, it just kind of collects dust and, and strings and all of that stuff. And it just started getting a little dingy after a while. So now I know. So I bought a couple of them and we'll be able to rotate through them. So I'm going to grab one of them. And I know I forgot to mention this, but we got this idea from Chris from on uh, daily refinement. He used to use this type of system, but I think he's moved on to something else right now. But we like this. We had a whole lot of comments when we did our first live about how the clothes stick to it so well. So this, I bought seven feet 
I thought this board was six feet, so I wanted to have enough to go over the top and under the bottom so that we didn't have any issues. So Robert's gonna have to come help me put this on. As you can see, it's kind of like a felt. It feels like felt. Or like if you were a teacher for like preschoolers and you did the, the little felt scenes all over, this is, it feels like that backing. But supposedly, um, Chris said that this is what they use like inside of oven mitts and stuff. That's why it's called insulated utility fabric. Let's just get this one. Ooh, it, and it sticks to it the wood. Sticks to the bottom down there. Are you not going to tuck it? Underneath? No, not really, probably. Oh, fine. And there you go. And like I said, the board that we have is 48 inches. This cloth only comes 45 inches. But you can tell it's almost there. And then whoever's taking pictures, just make sure they stay, you know, away from the edges. Most clothes fit on this perfectly. Um, I'm going to show you guys a pair of jeans on this. Real quick, for those of you that are having psychological issues from the cockeyed angle of that thing, I'm going to fix it. Otherwise, I'm going to have I'm going to have issues with it being, you know, just not straight up and down. But. It probably wouldn't bother Rebel because she's not like me in that regard, but mm -hmm. it bothers me with those angles. And so this is what we do. We just kind of get them on there. Of course, it would be all buttoned up and pretty. And then you just start taking your pictures. They're not going anywhere. They just stay there. Now, there's certain clothes that you use, or, you know, that you're going to try to list, and the fabric is just too Sweet. silky or smooth, and it doesn't stay. And then for that... I think this is like a wreath hook. I'm not sure where we got this from, or it was like on a something. Oh, this was from a shoe bag that was hanging on my son's bathroom door that I had lots of homeschool stuff stuck in it. So that's all this is. And then we put it up here. No, this way. And I've seen lots of people, um, we either use a plastic one like this, or you can use this type. This type is good because once you hang it up there, technically you could pull it away like this, flip it around, and you wouldn't even have to bother. But what we do is we just take it off, flip it over, and do your pictures the other way. Um, but these are wonderful. And... Words to the wise. These are from Walmart. They are mainstay brand. Like I said, it picks up every piece of lint. You're going to be using these a lot just to kind of get some of the stuff off of there. So we go through whole rolls of this stuff and it's very good. All right. As you can tell, the pants are still there. Um, I hope this has helped for those of you who are interested in this type it really saves your back um, from getting either doing the floor lays or like on your bed and you're leaning forward or just however else. You know, there's some people who want to use mannequins and that's fine. But for the most part, I think we're going to be focusing mostly on jeans um, for what we're going to be listing. So, I mean, this is perfect. So, all right. Anything else? All right. Bye. Get to work.